briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In a 1985 case, the Iowa Supreme Court heard a dispute between a legislator and the governor of Iowa over the use of veto power in an appropriation bill. The court needed to decide whether the provision in question was an item that could be legally vetoed or a limitation inseparably connected to the appropriation, which the governor couldn't veto without also vetoing the appropriation itself. The trial court initially ruled in favor of the governor, stating that the veto was valid. However, the majority opinion eventually disagreed and declared that the veto was invalid. The governor, Robert D. Ray, had used his item veto power to remove similar phrases from five appropriation bills. The legislator argued that these provisions weren't items but limitations. The court ultimately concluded that the provision in question was indeed a limitation rather than an item. As a result, the five vetoes by the governor were deemed illegal. The language didn't attempt to repeal Section 8.39, but created five exceptions to its operation, serving the legislative purpose of outlining specific appropriations. The trial court had wrongly granted Governor Ray's summary judgment motion and should have declared the vetoes illegal in support of the appellant. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.